The name of this book is Hanukkah Bear. It's by Eric Kimmel. He wrote it. And the person who did the pictures, who illustrated it, is Mike Wanetka. Hanukkah Bear. Here's the title page. It says it again. Hanukkah Bear. There's a big bear and a very sweet older lady. Oh, look at that big bear. Old bear awoke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat. He shook himself all over because his empty stomach rumbled. And then he lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Mmm. Bubba Brena took the last potato latke from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Bubba Brena was 97 years old and did not hear so well. And she didn't see so well as she used to. But she still made the best, best potato latkes in the whole village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house on the edge of the forest. How they love those latkes. Baba Brina always made plenty for the whole village. But tonight, she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight, the rabbi was coming. Baba Brina hurried to get ready. She dusted, she cleaned, and then she got the menorah out. And there's her cottage. Just then, she heard a thump, thump, thump on the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're here early. How nice to see you. Hmm. <laughs> Growled old bear. Well, happy Hanukkah to you, too. Please, come on in. Uh-oh. Was it the rabbi? Old Bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is. Baba Brainer tugged, tugged at Old Bear's fur. Old Bear roared. Grrr. Oh, okay, you want to keep your coat on. Well, that's all right. I guess it is a little chilly in here. Old Bear's nose twitched. Well, thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we like the menorah. That's all right. I know you were teasing. I like the candles. Will you say the blessings? Look at his face. He doesn't know what's going on, but he really wants to eat. Baba Brainus struck a match and lit the shamus candle, the leader candle. Then she lit the one for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled. <laughs> who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Oh, Rabbi, you said those beautiful blessings just perfect. Bubba Brana sat down at the table. Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked on with his teeth. Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. <laughs> Growled Old Bear. Don't worry. I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Bubba Brain has spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimmel. I win. I win. And this is the letter Gimmel. 
Baba Raina swept the nuts into her apron. Roar, 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 old Bear roared. Uh-oh, I don't think he liked that. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. And she tossed him a nut. Old Bear begged for more. No, Rabbi, no more nuts. It's time for dinner. Baba Brenna opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Baba Brenna asked. Hmm. <laughs> Old Bear growled. Jam. I thought so. Bubba Brenna smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them all down. Bubba Brenna laughed. Oh, Rabbi, you should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. Um, did you think to say, I'm hungry like a bear, so I eat like one? I can see that, Bubba Brana said. Old Bear ate and ate until the latkes were all gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Bubba Brana's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? All the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Bubba Brenna took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. Old Bear licked Bubba Brenna's face. Bubba Brenna blushed. Oh, at my age, Rabbi. Oh, my goodness. Old Bear shuffled to the door. He growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you too, Rabbi, and happy Hanukkah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Baba Brenna was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Baba Brenna. All her friends stood at the door wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody. How nice to see you. I'm sorry. I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. The rabbi ate them all. Um, she doesn't realize that the rabbi is standing right there in front. Baba Brenna, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue, the temple. Bubba Brenna rubbed her forehead. Mm. Uh-oh, something strange has happened. I think, I think there's an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even, he even has your beard. Just then the children cried. Look at the floor. There's bear tracks. A bear? A bear? And I thought it was the rabbi. Bubba Brenna had to sit down. Soon, she began to giggle. That was a very clever bear. Or a very foolish me. Oh, well, let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah. And so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar. Fetch my grater and bowl. Everyone has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Down deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was so full of potato latkes. Look how big his belly is. 
The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, old bear, and happy Hanukkah.